After seven days of testimony in this courtroom, a jury ruled that two men were guilty of killing a man during a botched bounty hunting arrest in 2021. The family of one of the men say they're still in shock by the verdict, saying their son never meant to harm anyone. Uh, my heart hurts because, you know, it hurts for my son, but mostly because 12 jurors got to see the testimony I've seen over the last two weeks and come to the conclusion that Nick, you know, barged into this guy's house to, to, to kill him. Nicholas Jager was found guilty of deliberate homicide and Butte bondsman Jay Hubbard was found guilty of deliberate homicide by accountability by a 12-member jury Thursday evening. Both men were also found guilty of aggravated burglary for illegally entering the Main Street home of William Harris the evening of December 19, 2021, to arrest a man who was staying in Harris's home. A struggle ensued, and Jager shot Harris with Hubbard's gun. Nicholas Jager's father believes his son took deadly action out of self-defense. Things escalated and, um, you know, uh, is, this is tragic on so many levels um, for, for Bill Harris, for Nick. However, prosecutors argued to the jury that Hubbard and Jager were reckless when they barged into Harris's home uninvited and ignored Harris's demands that they leave his house. Bill Harris was an innocent victim who was sitting in his own home who was needlessly and violently killed by the deliberate actions of these two defendants. John Jager believes that as a bondsman, Hubbard and his son had the right to go into that home to arrest a man wanted for jumping bond. He was in fear for his life. John, the, the testimony all shows that. I just, that's why I'm so shocked by, by the verdict. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.